Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And today I'm doing fire signs. Right now we are on Aries. So if you are an Aries, sun, moon, or rising, something in this will be for you. Let's see what you have going on right now. We have the Six of Swords. <clears throat> The Seven of Wands in reverse. The Five of Cups in reverse. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. And we will note that the Nine of Swords fell out, but I only intended on grabbing four cards. So <clears throat> we'll just keep that as a mental note. And we're going to pull a few oracles this time as well. Let's see from the Moon deck. Don't let pride get in your way. Leo energy. From the soul deck. Align your life. And one more from the unicorn deck. What do your spirit guides have to say? <clears throat> Soul satisfaction. So it looks like right now you are having some type of heart versus mind battle. You're trying to not talk negatively about something that's going on, but it's like you want to be able to protect yourself. And that's the way that you typically used to do it. <clears throat> so right now, you don't necessarily have a strategy. You just have high hopes, but you're wanting to not get disappointed. Because it looks like whatever most recent either relationship or friendship you were in, it was not working very well. There was no real teamwork. There was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of people, extra people involved that should not have been in the relationship. And so whatever this newness is going on here that has you so anxious, it's like you're just afraid that it's going to turn out the same way again. So this don't let your pride get in the way is really letting you know that you want to let people come in with a clean slate and not to base things off of the worst case scenario or something that happened to you before. Because even if the people are a little bit similar, it doesn't mean the situation is going to turn out the same. And then you have align your life. So spirit is asking you to focus much more on what it is that you actually want that being a instead of being afraid and trying to push away things that you do not want. So kind, kind of switch those priorities around there. And then here, number 25, this is, or I'm sorry, number 23 breaks down to a five. And that's showing again that you have some changes in energy right here. And it definitely appears like it's a romantic relationship or a friendship that may be blossoming into something more. But it says soul satisfaction. And there on the bottom, it says do what makes you feel good. So very much in contrast of this anxiety that you were feeling when we very first started out the reading. It's just encouraging you to get out of your head into your life and to just enjoy yourself and see how things go so i see why that nine of swords was on the bottom that's you too if you can see like dude in the corner being super extra cautious but there's nothing to really worry about because there's nobody even around you so to speak no ops around you but as i said some type of new person coming in for you but that is what i have for you today aries sun moons and risings if anything resonated please like comment share and subscribe to the channel i do drop new videos every single day and i get through the zodiac at least once a week and if your interest has been piqued and you'd like more information about your personal life you can book a reading with me through the link in the description box all right y'all peace